What's up everyone? David Seven Skies here broadcasting from the Seven Skies Mansion and uh, I'm finally back on YouTube after after quite a bit. Um, so first thing first, if you're here to learn about compression and presets and how to make certain things in music production, today is not the day. Uh, this is not the video. Uh, there's none of that, so you can skip it if you want. But uh, I feel like this video is going to be equally important um, and it might not teach you how to make music, but um, it might teach you how to keep making music, uh, which I think is uh, far more important somehow. Uh, so today is September 3rd. 2019 uh, and uh, I don't know I'm building like this crazy anticipation of like what is he gonna say um, there's nothing 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 bad um, but today's a good day uh, actually yeah exactly the opposite of what people might think uh, today is actually a great day um, and it is a great day because I signed two songs um, that are coming up uh, coming out one one actually is coming out this week. It's a remix. Uh, you you'll find out uh, what it is very very soon. Um, and the other one is coming out in the coming months. Uh, you know, we, we, discography is always a pain uh, to find out to figure out when when your music is gonna be out. So uh, so I signed it. It's gonna come out later this year or maybe beginning of uh, 2020. Um, but yeah, so I want to talk about. I want to talk about a couple things uh, that might not be, um, I don't know, that might be kind of not clear for people who uh, just started producing or they've been producing for a while but they haven't gotten signed yet. Uh, and uh, and yeah, so uh, I just want to like kill a few beliefs that are out there um, and I just want to you know, you know me, I always want to try and keep it like very, uh, you know, very real. Uh, and we're like producer, known producer, uh, our people like, like you, uh, you and I, uh, we're all the same kind of people. Um, and, and so, uh, you know, when you're, when you're a signed producer, people think that you're some sort of like a superior human being, which you're not. Um, and they think that your life is completely different from everybody else, uh, which is not. Um, so I just want to, I just want to talk about this whole thing a little bit. I want to talk about what I've been through in the past year, what, um, what I'm feeling right now, uh, for being, um, you know, after I got the news that I am, uh, I'm getting signed on, uh, after I got the news that, uh, two of my tracks got signed. So a lot of people think that, you know, uh, you're a known producer or professional producer and whatever, and all you do is, like, have amazing ideas, you just, like, open your computer and magic happens right away, and then you send it to, uh, to Spinning and to, to, uh, Kashmir and to Chester and whatever, and they're like, oh my god, dude, you're the best freaking thing that happened to, uh, EDM, and, uh, I'm gonna release your song, and, um, uh, and yeah, um, that's that's not what happens. Uh, there are a few producers out there who are particularly talented, um, and it's somehow easier for them to put tracks out. But um, <laughs> I'm not one of those. Uh, I struggle like crazy uh, to make a track, to be able to sign it, to put it out, to have the inspiration to be given. And then to finish it, there's like a whole process and it's terribly, terribly painful. Um, but not just for me, just for everybody. Uh, every producer has this, um, is struggling like that. Um, damn it. So I just remember I didn't turn on the light, so I might super, be super dark. So let me do this. There you go. I might be a little prettier right now. Um, but anyway, so, wow, this video has been terrible. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, so a lot of people just think that it, it's like, you know, we're just like 
create tracks after track after track after track and everything is awesome and and label loves us and 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 you know um it's not like that uh every single producer i know uh whether it's top 10 in the dj mag or whether it's top 100 on the dj mag or whether it's not even on the dj mag um every producer is struggling um like i said some people are you know are more creative and have better ideas and it's it's quicker for them to come up with something new but um but we all struggle uh it's always different for us it's always hard for us sorry to uh to come up with something that uh, people are gonna love it's always hard for us to come up with something that pleases as many people as we can um you, ob you obviously cannot please everybody um but you know we always try to please as many people as we can um we always try to find somehow uh, a middle ground between uh doing something that has been done that people are familiar with and so that they are hopefully it's it's easier for them to like and we uh, also have to try and be you know grow and be creative and grow as artists so try something new uh, get influenced by whatever is the new trend and just get it and put it in our music that also has to sound like what we did before but we need to find new things it's it's not simple so yeah uh for a producer like me and for every producer really being signed it's it's amazing um and i don't know i feel like somehow producers don't celebrate it enough uh they just say hey here's my new track and and i mean they're obviously they're obviously excited but they don't really talk about the process and how uh you know all all the work that goes behind it um but that's one one thing that i wanted to talk about and uh and yeah, uh, I just want to tell you this because I'm not bragging that I signed two tracks, right? Uh, that's that's not what I want to do in this video. Um, what I want to talk about, beside the fact that you know, um, I want to celebrate the fact that um, that I released, the, sorry, that I signed two songs. Um, I also want to talk about why I'm so happy about it, and the reason is. I'm sure you know, you've read something on Instagram uh, or on my newsletter or whatever, um, that I've had a terrible year this year. Uh, in December, some stuff happened and uh, just like that, literally. One day I was fine, the day after I was not fine. And uh, it's been a long ass journey of like feeling like shit for two months straight or three months straight and then uh, got better and then I f felt like crap again and then I slowly got better and then down again and then got better um, it's been it's been absolutely terrible probably one of the worst years of my life uh, if not the worst uh, of my life um, where I got super scared about you know my future and, and about a lot of things um, where I was like, you know, for for the longest time this past year, I didn't make music. And I thought that I wouldn't have anymore. Uh, I thought that I wouldn't have been able to, and I thought that I lost the strength to, to make music. And, and I haven't made music in so long. I don't even know how much, how many months, um, but it's been, it's been a lot. Uh, I think at least three, four months, and then we had the Musical Freedom uh, writing camp, which was absolutely amazing because it gave me so much energy, so much more motivation to like keep going. Uh, but then I fell back into you know my problems again, and uh, uh, I just couldn't make music. I stopped working, and I also stopped listening to music, which was interesting. Um, I think I stopped listening to music for at least, um, I'm gonna say at least two months. And I'm, I'm talking like no music at all. Not when I was in the studio, not when I was driving, not when I was at the gym. I mean, obviously at the gym, there's the radio on and, and that's all the, and there's, that's as much music as I was listening to. 
Until one day, I decided to really get better, and I was like, you know, I, I also want to start playing music again. And I, I started driving, and I started listening to music, and it felt so good. I can't even, I can't even describe how good it felt. Um, it's not normal for human beings, in my opinion. It's not normal for human beings not to listen to music. And yeah, I, I haven't. I just didn't listen to music for like two months. And then when I started doing it again, I was like, wow, that's, that's amazing. Um, so, so I slowly started, you know, getting back to, to in the studio again and, and I try to make some, some work. I've had a couple tracks that I needed to finish. Uh, I made the remix that is coming out this week. And, and you know, it felt, it felt amazing to, um, to start making music again and, uh, and then today I I finished the song. It's the one that you see in the screen right now. And I sent it I sent it to Tiesto and Tiesto said, I like it. Uh, let's put it out on Musical Freedom. And and yeah, so this is the second the second song that I signed today. And like I said, it feels amazing. So this is not this is not the first time that I was like this close to quit music. I mean, obviously, um, I still have my business with old standalone music and a lot of things that I do, mastering, mixing, and consulting and all that kind of stuff. So I wasn't really worried about how am I gonna, like, what am I gonna do um, now that I can't make, that I, if I can't make music anymore. Um, sound design has always paid more for me than, than being an artist, uh, so I wasn't particularly worried about that. I just, I was just worried that my, I couldn't just leave my dream. Um, my dream is to make music, is not to own a business like standalone music. That's that's an amazing thing that I have, and I'm grateful for all of you who support me. Um, I truly, truly am, but that's not exactly my dream. Um, I'm fortunate enough that that you know music somehow still helps me, still supports me, and pays my bill. But I wanted to be—I've always wanted to be an artist, and I've always wanted to be a touring DJ. So, so you know, when I was like, you know, this thing is just not working out, uh, and I'm probably gonna quit. It was painful because it was like you know, sort of admitting a defeat, um, and it's not—it's never easy to do that. Uh, and and like I said, to, to have this two tracks released was just like, you know, I was born again. And uh, and yeah, so I was saying that this is not the first time that happens. Um, it's actually, I mean, I, I think about quitting music every week, if not every day, uh, when I got frustrated in the studio. I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, but um, there was once that the, the first time where I remember that I was like really going to quit music. I was, I was eight, nine or even 10 years ago. And I remember the scene exactly. I was on a boat with my ex-girlfriend and uh, out of nowhere, I started crying and I told her like, look, I don't think this music thing is going anywhere. Her and I were living in Australia um, in an apartment that had literally no furniture. We didn't have chairs. Uh, we had a bed and a fridge and we would sit on the bench where you cook whenever we wanted to eat so we literally didn't have money and music wasn't really giving me any money at all and I was like look I don't think this thing is going anywhere and so I'm probably gonna quit and I'm probably gonna gonna listen to my parents who want me to take it to get a job and and I'll just you know live live a regular life find a regular job and, and this is just gonna be a, a dream that didn't work and I cried like crazy, I remember, and she started crying too. She was like, I'm so sorry, I feel this way. And then, literally the day after, um, I was in the studio, which was my bedroom back then, and uh, I don't know, I was fiddling with an idea that uh, I wrote two years before. And I was like, oh, let me try to do this, do that. Um, I was just, you know, I was just having, having fun. Uh, and... And I worked on that song for, for a day and then after a day it was like, 
almost done and it sounded amazing. And so the day after I was like, oh, I want to work on this a little bit more. And I did. And, and the song was basically done within like the third day. Um, by the third day, yeah, the song was done. And, and I sent it to Jono from Above and Beyond. And I was like, yo, I made this song. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. And Jono replied, look, this song is amazing. It just needs a couple things. If you can make it a little bit more special, it would be perfect for Anjuna Beats. And so I went back and, uh, and I added some vocal chops and I sent it to him again. And he was on holiday right after I did that. So he was like, look, I'm on holiday. I will reply to you in 15 days. And, and I was like, all right, well, whatever. He's going to forget. And 15 days after, I get this email from Jonah from Above and Beyond. It's like, we love the song. We're going to sign it on Juno Beats. And that was my first single on Juno Beats. And that's when Seven Skies really took off as a as an artist name. And, and, and then I started, you know, and then I did Sushi and I started touring as a trans producer back then. Um, but... You know, I kind of see a pattern here. Uh, like this year, I was so ready to quit, and and yeah, then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it another shot. This is too important for me, and I did. And I have this track coming out on Dharma, uh, this remix coming out on Dharma, and this other song coming out on Musical Freedom, and possibly uh, signing another one uh, on Musical Freedom this week as well so it would be three tracks signed in a, in a week and like i said it, it feels amazing and it feels it feels amazing because it is amazing to release music to to be able to show music to other people but um in a more selfish way it is amazing because um because it can still leave my dream so um i guess what i've what all this video has been about it's literally it's really just just try and don't give up uh your dreams try push a little harder and a little harder and you know if you're seeing that it's not working out take a break um and maybe maybe you know you'll you'll, you'll take a break and you'll realize that you know you feel better and and maybe you'll find something that, you know, you like more than make music. Um, and this applies to everything, actually. Uh, it's not only about making music. It, it can be about painting or making movies or acting or uh, everything that's art or even just business in general. Um, so you, it's okay to take a break. Uh, you should take a break if things are not working out. It can be a year or two year break even. Um, and if you find that it was a good idea, um, and if you find something better, that's okay. Don't see it as a defeat. Just, just see it as something that wasn't really meant to be. Um, cause you, you'll find, you, you'll find something that you are really meant to, meant to do in your life. Um, but if you really, really, really believe in this, um, push a little harder if you're thinking about quitting and if things don't happen push a little harder and it it will happen one day i i truly believe it will and uh i really think that if you are if you believe in your dream um if you love what you the art that you believe in or the the job that you want to do um i really hope that one day you you'll you know you'll be able to to make it happen because because it feels amazing so i really just want to wish you all to release a song if you uh, are a music producer uh to make it in a big movie if you're an actor or or to to, you know, to, to, to make it in whatever you're trying to do. I really hope that you will, that you realize your dream. And, you know, I'm just trying to put some positivity out there because the world needs, needs a lot of that. Uh, 
So, I hope you like this video. It's it's random, but you know, I love to help people learning production, but you know, I also love to help people keep up with their music and their dream and you know, if they need if there's if there's some motivation that I can give you, if there's some help, moral help that I can give you, I'm also here for that and not just for mixing and compression. Uh, this is it. I'm gonna go celebrate with uh, probably watching Netflix. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I'll see you soon in the next video. Uh, I wanna revamp the whole YouTube out a little bit. So, um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, best of luck. For me, David, Seven Skies, bye bye.